Well, hello to our community group leaders. This is our teaching series extra for Sunday, the 23rd of July, 2017, and we're in our second week of the Exodus series. This is the story of us, and I, I just want you to remember that as we look at the Exodus event uh, in the Older Testament, we are seeing a part of our own journey in this. We are seeing our story as we deal with uh, guidance, as we deal with God's provision, as we deal with how we respond to attacks. So. So this is our story as well as we move from slavery to sin to freedom in Christ. Uh, but this is also a fantastic reminder of the new Moses. Uh, Jesus is the new true Moses. He is our deliverer. He is our rescuer. So today specifically as we talk in Exodus 13 about God's guidance and it's the, the pillar of fire and the pillar of smoke that moved ahead of the people of Israel. So we get to talk about how does God guide us today. Sometimes I wish there still was that pillar of fire and pillar of smoke, but we have something and someone actually better. And I'm going to talk about in the message not overthinking God's voice, but, but just being very simple and direct with recognizing how God is speaking to us. And many of you have heard me teach this before, that, that God speaks primarily in three ways, through the Scripture, through our time in prayer with him and through community and seeking wise counsel from other people around us. So if I were leading a community group, I would mention those three, scripture, um, prayer, community, and say, which one do you lean on the most? Which one have you found is most beneficial? Because while God uses all three of those things in all of our lives, God also deals with us in a very personal and unique way. And so how he deals with me in those three areas of prayer and scripture and community is going to be different than how he deals with you. And just to hear your people talk about, here's what's most important to me when, when I seek uh, God's guidance and God's direction. I would also encourage you as a community group leader to remind people what an adventure we are on as Christ followers. Jesus said in John chapter 3, the wind blows wherever it chooses. You hear the sound, but you do not know where it's coming from or where it is going. So are all of those born of the Spirit. And Jesus, talking about the Holy Spirit, uses again that, that picture of wind to express the power of the Spirit, but also the freedom of the Spirit. And the wind of the Holy Spirit fills our sails. We never know on any given day where we're going, where we might end up, because we are empowered and informed by the Holy Spirit. And so, just to remind your people that we have freedom in Christ, and as we are on this journey, it is the Holy Spirit himself who guides us in one grand adventure. And I think it's, it's good to remind people that we are on an adventure of following Christ. Most of my days mapped out for me on my iPhone, on my schedule, but that's not what I answer to. I don't answer to my schedule. I answer to the Holy Spirit as God guides me. So I hope you enjoy teaching this, uh, this lesson fantastic to talk about how we receive the guidance of God, especially when we feel that times are difficult. We, we've got to learn to listen to Him when times are good so that we can hear Him, especially when times are bad. Thanks so much. Have a great week, and if there's any way I can serve you, please let me know.